And we begin in Tanzania, where at least three people have been arrested in connection with the kidnapping of East Africa's richest man, Mohamed Delji. The 43-year-old was abducted by four masked men outside a hotel gym in an affluent neighborhood of Tanzania's commercial capital, where he was going for his routine morning workout. He is a fitness enthusiast, and according to authorities in Dar es Salaam, two of the attackers are believed to be foreign nationals. Deuji has been credited with turning his family business into a multi-billion dollar pan-African conglomerate. Forbes magazine estimates that he is worth 1.5 billion U.S. dollars. Authorities are yet to establish the motive for the kidnapping. Let's get you more on that now. I'm joined by Daniel Kijo. He's coming to us live from Dar es Salaam. Daniel, do police have a lead and have they classified it as a kidnap? Uh, hi, Beatrice. Yes, the police have classified this as a kidnapping. The regional police commander, uh, Commander Mamboso, was here this morning and uh, with a team of uh, crime investigation uh, uh, specialists who are here to uh, look at uh, the scene of the crime that it is, is behind me. That is uh, Mohamed Deuji's uh, Range Rover, his car, the car that he was driving in the morning when he parked. And uh, as he stepped out of his car, uh, two masked uh, individuals, uh, one put him in a chokehold, uh, the other one shot uh, bullets into the air and they put him in what is said to be a toy Toyota Hilux and they drove away. So the police say yes, this is a kidnapping and investigations have started. So we do understand that uh, three, at least three people have been arrested in connection with that. But also, have we heard anything from the people who last saw uh, Mohammed or the last conversation he had with anyone prior to his disappearance? We're yet to get those details on exactly who he spoke to in the last minutes before his abduction. But we, we know that the family, uh, his father, has confirmed uh, through uh, Mohamed Deuji's friend, uh, Minister uh, January Makamba, that yes, his son has been abducted and has been kidnapped. Uh, we know that some of the guards of the gym, Colosseum gym in Masaki, were here and they saw this whole action uh, happening. But there's nobody specific who has... Uh, the last communication with Mr. Uh, uh, Mohamed Deuji. To give us a brief background, Daniel, give us a brief background on who exactly Mohamed Deuji is. We do understand he's East Africa's richest man. Yes, Mohammed uh, Dewuji comes from the Dewuji family, um, a family that was in agriculture for many years. But he he was instrumental in you know upscaling the company, uh, operating in about six African countries, dealing uh, his company Mohammed Enterprises Limited deals with um, oil refinery, uh, floor milling, uh, beverages, and, and a wide portfolio across Africa. Uh, Forbes magazine ranked him as uh, Tanzania's only uh, billionaire, and, and also the youngest, one of the youngest billionaires, if not the youngest in Africa. His estimated net worth is over a little over $1.5 billion. So he's a man who's been very successful uh, at turning around his father's business into a pan-African empire. But also, he was at one time a, a minister of parliament for a, a certain region in, in Tanzania. He's also very active in sports. He's a major investor in one of Tanzania's biggest uh, football teams, Simba. Um, he, he, he's a man who has been known to be very active. He's, a, as, as you have said, an, a fit enthusiast he trains here at this gym every morning so he's a young man who's very active and very dynamic right uh, Daniel Kijo with an update there from uh, Dar es Salaam and that kidnap over East Africa's richest man Mohammed Dewji